and welcome to Local Doctors on Call. I'm Candace McAlia. You heard it here first. Local Doctor says cataracts are caused by birthdays. What he really meant is the longer that you live, the more likely you are to develop cataracts as they are part of the natural aging process. But the good news is that today's cataract surgery is easier than ever and you have more choices for great vision. Tonight's guest is cataract and glaucoma specialist, Dr. Robert Friedman of the Eye Associates. And also joining us is his cataract surgery patient, Joel Fetter. Mr. Fetter will describe his experience of having cataract surgery as well as how he's seeing with his new TrueLine lens implants. Welcome back, Dr. Friedman. Thank you for having me again. Thank you and welcome to the show, Mr. Fetter. Thank, Thank you so you. much for being here. And my name is Joel, please. Oh, wonderful. Thank you, okay. Thank you for being here, Mr. Joel. Fetter hangs on the wall <laughs> in my office. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. I like that. So let's talk, um, let's start off first with you, Dr. Friedman. For sure. our viewers who might not know much about you, tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, well, I'm a board certified ophthalmologist. I've been in practice uh, for about 20 years now, been in the Sarasota area for about uh, 13 years now. And my practice is devoted to uh, cataract surgery uh, uh, and glaucoma management and glaucoma surgery. Okay, great. And Joel, can you tell us a little bit about your background and some of the, uh, you're very, I know we talked before the show, but you're very athletic and have led a very athletic life. Well, I've been, um, I started jogging in 1966 and I haven't stopped working out and been being physically active since then. And uh, I owe my life to the fact that I've been very involved in athletics all my life, as well as eating properly, as in veggies, 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 and fruit and so forth, and little if no red meat. That's um, great. And, and I'm an attorney uh, and an accountant, and I practiced as a tax lawyer for 27 years. I got very bored and decided to go into the real estate development business at the age of 55. I completely changed my life and for the good uh, and spent 10 years developing a very nice shopping center business. My wife had some health issues, and that brought me to Florida. Uh, I really didn't want to come because I just started a new business as 10 years is still a new business. Um, but you wouldn't get me back dragging and screaming back to Baltimore. <laughs> uh, right. I love my hometown, but this is home now, and it's a wonderful place to live. Yes, it absolutely is. And I understand you're going on about two weeks now with your new eyes. Is that my right? My new eyes. <laughs> I can see. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we're Dr. Friedman get... clapped my ears, he and did, I right? can see. <laughs> yes. Uh, it, it's a life-changing event. It's a life-changing event, and probably the reason why I'm here is that I insisted that Dr. Freeman transmit that issue, memo t to his patients um, more vigorously. I think it's a duty of the physician uh, to really inform uh, the patient about the options and to under for them to understand the importance of uh, the journey in life being a good one. Uh, looking through cataracts, you have a blurred vision of life and you have a, a, a difference in the color and the sharpness of, of things and I'm now wearing, I don't have glasses and I can certainly read very easily That's whereas great. others can't. Right. It's really a quality of it's life It's a quality issue. of life. Yeah. It's a quality of life issue. As we age, um, things happen mm -hmm. and whether or not we take care of ourselves isn't the issue. It's just simply the aging process and it's extraordinarily important for the patient and the doctor to be well informed. The patient, the doctor has a duty of, inf of informing the patient and the patient has a duty to inform himself or herself with, with respect to the issues of health. Sure. Cataract surgery uh, I, and uh, eye care is one of those issues. Absolutely. Well, we want to remind our viewers that we are taking your calls live tonight about cataracts. So if you have a question for Dr. Friedman, he'd be happy to answer it. And the number to call us is at 361 Four six seven five. So, Dr. Friedman, let's start with the basics. Okay, sure. What is a cataract? Well, we Can actually we a brought a model yeah. here. So, um, a cataract is actually a clouding of the natural crystalline lens that occurs as we get older. Usually, it's an age-related process, but sometimes it can be related to other things like uh, certain metabolic conditions, like diabetes, can bring on cataracts, trauma, uh, steroid use steroid usage can bring on cataracts, but usually it's an age-related change where you get a clouding of the lens which interferes with the quality of the vision. Uh, patients will come in and say that their vision is blurry, things aren't clear, they may have trouble uh, seeing road signs, reading fine print, maybe if they're a golfer, seeing the golf ball. Uh, 
starburst halos um, are common complaints with cataracts. So these are some of the uh, common symptoms of cataracts. And, um, and so, so we brought a model here. And, and just to show you what um, we're looking at, if you picture this is the front of the eye where the cornea is the clear membrane over the blue or brown part of the eye and the iris is here, the cataract actually sits um, behind the pupil, behind the iris, and uh, it, I mean, this is a pretty good representation of the uh, schematics of the eye. So okay, this so would this be is actually the cataract, cataract right? right. So as, when we're born, it's actually a clear lens, but as we get older, uh, the lens turns yellow or brown, and that's uh, when the vision uh, becomes cloudy. Okay. So, Joel, can you describe to us what were some of your symptoms before you had the surgery? I had trouble reading very small print. I had trouble reading even half large print. Um, I was constantly adjusting my glasses to bring things into focus. If I hit the golf ball, I surely could not see it. And uh, my colleagues got tired of asking. I got tired of me asking them, where did my golf ball go? <laughs> uh, and, and, if they're, if, and they said, watch my golf ball, I, I couldn't. So right. they were also upset with that. Uh, uh, once again, it is a question of a quality of life. Right. And without a good vision, the quality of life is significantly diminished. Were there activities that you had to completely stop doing or decrease because of? No, I had trouble reading. I read a great deal because I do a lot of lecturing. Okay. So as a result of that, I'm studying every day. Mm -hmm. And it, uh, my eyes would get tired very easily and I would tire physically as a result of trying to focus and trying to read uh, with, with poor eye vision. And Dr. Friedman said to me one day, he said, I can't make your glasses any better. He said, you're just not seeing well. Hmm. And I said, you know, it's time for me to have that surgery. Right. But probably the time for me to have had that surgery was two years ago. Really? So I would urge those folks who are in my position, somebody who gets older, to really think about having it sooner than later hmm. because the quality of life is so much more enhanced as a result of it. Sure. And quality of life, as you age, quality of life is an important thing. Aging successfully is what it's all about, not just aging. Definitely. So, so Dr. Friedman, I understand that um, Joel has a true line lens and that you were actually the first in Manatee County to use those lenses. Right. So what is that? What does that so, mean for patients? So, the, so an intraocular lens or an, or an implant is actually an artificial lens that we uh, put in the eye after cataract surgery to help focus the light rays to make the vision clear. Mm -hmm. And so uh, the true line is actually a breakthrough in intraocular lens technology where this particular implant is an implant that actually allows for all ranges of vision. So Joel is actually able to see far and up close without depending on glasses. But in addition to that, the true line is really the only, let's say, multi-purpose or multifocal type of implant that corrects for astigmatism at the same time. Oh, wow. So that's a big deal. Yeah, it is. It's a big deal now. And, um, you know, we're happy to offer this new technology to our patients at the Eye Associates. And is it something that's available to pretty much anyone who is getting cataract surgery, or does it depend on their... It depends on their eye condition. Uh, there are several factors um, that come into play when you determine what type of implant to put in. And, and there are a variety of implants now that we can choose from, mm -hmm. um, depending on the status of the eye. And uh, if the eye is relatively healthy like Joel's, this is an excellent uh, choice. It's an excellent option that we offer our patients. And that would be something which I think is important for patients as they get older to have the operations such as this, which are important and are lifestyle changer, to have them while they're healthy. Right. Because as we age, things happen, whether we like it or not. And to undergo surgery such as this is nominal. It does not invasive, it doesn't hurt, and all of those things. But nonetheless, it's surgery and it is some anesthetic. Um, so I think it's important for people as they age to understand that it's important to get these kinds of things done while you are healthy and your immune system can absorb the uh, insult, if you will, to your body th of surgery. Right, and now you mentioned a little bit that it was painless, it was relatively an easy procedure, but can you tell the audience a little bit about the procedure? Because some people might be maybe unsure because they're wary of going through a surgery. <clears throat> Very simple. Um, I, I will admit that I was one of those people because my eyes, as with everyone, are so important to my quality of life. So I was somewhat reluctant to have it done. Um, 
I decided to have it done because I knew that this coming fall and the, and, uh, the winter, I have a heavy duty lecture schedule. I lecture on climate change oh. and I needed to have it done before I got involved in that heavy duty lecture schedule. Um, so my uh, simple answer is that it is a, a, uh, an easy process. I appeared at the uh, eye surgery center in Brandon or Bradenton. Um, I was ushered in, given some instructions. Uh, I was given a mild an anesthetic within 20 minutes, half an hour. I'm not sure how long it was. Um, I was I was out. I had to bring a driver with me because of the anesthetic. Um, and within, within a day, I was seeing clearly. And it's now been both eyes. <clears throat> you have it done in both eyes. Uh, my clarity of vision is astounding. Colors are astounding. When you have it done, you have one good eye and one bad eye. You look at this and you say, goodness gracious me, why did I wait so long? Why did I wait so long? That's when you can and really tell you the can difference. Really yeah. tell the difference. Yeah. And, and again, I come back to quality of life and how important that is. Right. Okay. Especially as we age, we have to understand what's happening to our bodies. That's really interesting though. So when you, do most patients who come to you need surgery in both eyes or how does that? Usually they usually, do. You okay. know, sometimes if it's a, you know, weird situation where you really have a cataract in one eye and not the other eye, you can still have cataract implant surgery in one eye mm -hmm. and not the other eye, okay. um, depending on what the vision is. But and then sure. how long do you have to wait if you're getting it done in both eyes? We usually do them two weeks apart. Okay, so that's not So bad. that's our standard protocol right now. Very good. Yeah. So you mentioned um, earlier with the true line lens, mm -hmm. astigmatism. Mm -hmm. um, it works for astigmatism too. Right. But let's just remind people what okay. is astigmatism. So what I like to do is have people picture um, what a basketball looks like because that's a perfect sphere. Right. And that would be an object that would have no astigmatism because it's perfectly spherical. Um, now if you picture a football where you have one side that's relatively flat and one side that's round, mm -hmm that would uh, depict astigmatism. Oh. And so the cornea actually is not perfectly spherical in, in this way. I mean, there are changes in the cornea where part of it may be flat and part of it may be steeper, and uh, that would be uh, a cornea that has astigmatism. And so what we do is we, we can put an implant in the eye to neutralize that astigmatism or reduce that astigmatism because the less astigmatism you have, the better you can see without glasses after cataract surgery. So we try to minimize the astigmatism. Wow, and so these new lenses, they work for right. everything. So you can, so with these, uh, with the TrueLine lens, um, you can uh, eliminate the astigmatism with that lens in itself. However, there are actually ways of uh, reducing or eliminating the astigmatism without the TrueLine lens, which is another technology that we offer at the Eye Associates and uh, we're actually utilizing new technology with a laser that actually makes these small uh, incisions in the cornea which help to reshape the cornea and eliminate the astigmatism. So you don't have to have the true line lens to reduce the astigmatism. There are other ways that we can do this and with other kinds of implants. Okay, great information. Thank you so much. We are going to take a quick break and we'll have much more with Dr. Friedman and Joel Fetter about cataracts. And I just want to remind you that we are taking your calls live. So if you have a question for us, give us a call at 361-4675. Much more information to come. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Hi there, welcome back to Local Doctors on Call. I'm Candace McGallia and I'm joined tonight by Dr. Friedman of the Eye Associates and his cataract surgery patient, Joel Fetter, who is talking to us about his experience, his real life experience of getting his cataracts removed. We have another caller on the line. Hi Tom, welcome to the show. Go right ahead with your question. Yes, my question is my wife is uh, 72 years of age and she had one cataract operation, which was the deluxe one couple thousand dollars. I don't know what you call it. <laughs> if we had the basic one for the other eye, mm -hmm. would that bother her vision? Or is it much better to have the deluxe one in both eyes? Well, yeah, I mean, we call those premium or lifestyle lenses or high-tech implants. And the eyes work in concert together. So I think most patients are happiest when both eyes have the high-tech implants. However, um, I have put a high-tech implant in a single eye, in an eye who, 
which has already had previous cataract surgery elsewhere where they did not have a high-tech implant, and they tend to do pretty well also. So it depends on the personality of the patient and their expectations afterward. And, and just knowing that if you have just a, a, a standard type of implant placed in the second eye, that eye will not give all ranges of vision like the first eye. And so, you know, you just have to understand that going in. But I think it's a, it's a real possibility if that's what you're looking for. I think yeah. I could probably speak to that issue. Okay. Having had um, both eyes done with the better lens, if you will, um, I found that the quality of my vision is superb. And not to, I could have the, I could easily tell because when I had one eye done and then I still have my other cataract in the other eye, uh, the quality of vision was not as good. So I would imagine that if you have one quality of lens in one eye and another quality in the other eye, I can imagine from a patient point of view that I would feel unbalanced. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's and I would not have the same right. quality of, of life and same quality of vision sure. and so forth. Right. So speaking of quality of life, I understand you mentioned that you kayak. Yes. And I understand you have seen a big difference from when you used to kayak and now. One of the most important striking things is color and clarity of vision when you see a manatee or when uh. you see uh, uh, other wildlife, you actually see the plumage, you actually see uh, the color of the proper color, if you will, mm -hmm. it, things become as though you were 20 again, wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you can act like it if you have the same, if you have the right attitude. Right. And, and the ability to go do that without glasses is also very important. I can just wear a sunglass rather than mm -hmm. having another type of glass while I kayak. And that's an important issue when you're involved, as I am, in lots of different kinds of athletic endeavors. And I know you mentioned this is such a little thing, but even wearing glasses before, you know, you have to deal with them fogging up in different weather, and now you really don't have to worry about I that was, anymore, right? I, I was hiking in Denali National Park just uh, two, a week before the operation. Oh, my gosh. Okay, <laughs> and, and the last day of hiking in Denali, which is in the central part of Alaska, it rained all day and we were in our rain gear and we were hiking through heavy duty brush and my glasses kept fogging up and I kept saying to myself, why didn't I have this surgery before I went on this hiking trip in, in Denali with well, my colleagues? Why did you hiking trip? Why, after? Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, it wasn't an option. I, I went with a group called the Sierra Club. Okay, very so, good. Yeah. So, Dr. Friedman, we've talked about the True Lines lens, and then right. with the collar, we talked about some other um, premium lenses. But tell us about all of the different choices that are available to people. Well, I actually brought some models, some big oh, models, good. so we can we can look at those. Um, okay. So, the basic implant, which is the implant that usually uh, insurances cover, is what we call the monofocal implant, which is an implant that looks like this, okay. and it basically gives vision at a certain point in space. Most people choose far away. Yeah. Um, okay. But yep. anything up close will require glasses or cheaters or readers. Okay, oh. so this only gives vision at one point in space. Okay, so you still need glasses for those. You still need glasses or bifocals with these. Okay. Then we have two other choices that uh, actually give uh, multiple ranges of vision. And we talked about the True Line, which is um, this exciting breakthrough in technology. And this, the True Line lens actually looks like this. So. It's what's called an accommodating lens. Now, inside our eyes, when we have our natural lenses, we're able to focus up close, more so when we're younger than after the age of 40. And uh, so what this lens does, it actually has these hinges right here that bend inside the eyes. So Joel is able to see up close because the implant is moving very subtly inside your eye and and that's how you I'm get the near vision that. okay <laughs> now now right not before right. it so um okay so that's that's the new technology um this is also new technology and and this is also a multifocal implant um that also allows for all ranges of vision but it has a different configuration than this one um, but they both serve the same purpose and they both um, basically give distance and near vision and we use both of these lenses you know all the time um, the reason why we use this particular lens with Joel is because he has some uh, changes in his cornea that I don't think this would be a good choice for him. Hmm. Okay. Um, the final uh, implant that we use, which is also a monofocal implant like this, 
but it's actually customized for astigmatism. And we talked a little bit about astigmatism before. Um, there are monofocal implants that um, treat astigmatism. And so for someone where the multifocal lens is just not a good choice and we want to correct the astigmatism and a patient wants to see far and they're okay with reading up close, then that's also an excellent option in reducing astigmatism because remember, the less astigmatism you have, the better you can see without glasses after cataract surgery. Oh, that's interesting. And we should point out too that once you have a cataract removed, you will never get it back again. That correct? is correct, right. Which is a lot of people don't realize that, which is super great news. Well, I think I would suspect that 99 out of 100, if not 99.9 .9 out of 100 people, do not know what a cataract is. Right. Um, I consider myself as a relatively well educated individual, and I had no clue that a cataract was actually the lens in the eye. Right. I thought it was a film which could be removed and therefore you saw better. Mm -hmm. right. And, and right. I think most people, when they said I had cataracts removed, that, that would indicate that they had a foreign body removed, not the lens of the eye. That's right, and that you have to have And it's to so important it. for people to understand that. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, Dr. Friedman, these are large. What is the actual size of a real, I mean, it's super small, obviously. Yeah, but. it's only like, I don't know, 12 millimeters. I mean, it's, okay. it's like a half an inch or wow. an inch or somewhere in that range. I mean, they're, they're small, so. Okay. Um, because they need to fit in the eye. Right. So they can't be too big, right? Right. And, and actually, when we do cataract surgery nowadays, um, we're creating a very, very small incision. And right. the incision size is really only two millimeters, which is like an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch. And what we're able to do with these lenses, and I can't really demonstrate it here, but these are actually rolled up, okay? Mm -hmm. And they're rolled up into like a little coil and then we basically inject them in through the incision and then they unravel inside the eye. That's amazing. And, and then they open up. And so that's how we're able to get a, a large implant like that into a um, two millimeter uh, incision. It's amazing technology. Yeah. yeah. It is. It, it, it is. Well, we have a caller on the line. Hi, Al. Welcome to the show. You are live on the air with Dr. Friedman. And if you turn down your television set, it'll help you with the echo. Okay, it's down. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I am uh, 65 years old. I am going to have the laser treatment for cataracts, and I am trying to decide whether to use the new type of lens uh, that would allow me to see everything and, and no glasses at all. Right. Um, or should I be using the um, type of lens where I would my distance would be fine, but I would wear glasses for computers or uh, reading. Right. Trying to decide which way to go. Well, that's a personal decision, you know, and everybody has choices. And, uh, you know, I, I think, um, you know, it depends what you want out of life and, and what your expectations are. And, and Joel, I think, alluded to that before. You know, his expectations were that he wants to see far for, um, kayaking and golfing, but he also has bonsai plants, because I know this from a previous discussion, where he has fine details that he needs to look at. So he doesn't really need glasses for that. So it actually depends on what your quality of life is, what your expectations are. But if you're able to have the multifocal lens and you're able to um, have that lens inserted in your eye, I think that's an excellent choice. And, and I don't think you would regret that I decision. To I totally agree with that. Great. Why go back to something that you have of which that you can avoid, which is glasses, right. especially if you do any close-up work. Right. And, and I may spend two hours uh, um, wiring, putting wire on uh, branches which may be a, an eighth of an inch thick, a quarter of an inch thick, and you can't break them. Right. So you need to, and, and I can do that now without glasses. And so, that to me is amazing. Mm -hmm. Real quick, because we have about 30 seconds left okay. in the show, tell us why did you choose Dr. Friedman and the Eye Associates? I've been going to uh, the Eye Associates since I've been in Florida, which is 18 years or 17 years. And Dr. Friedman has been my doctor now for five or six years, and he's the best. 
<laughs> it doesn't get any better Clearly. than that. So <laughs> he's Thanks. the best. Great. And, and he's become a good friend. Very good. Well, and thank you nice. so much for being yes. here. We want to just real, show, real quick show you the uh, graphic for the free cataract seminars at the Eye Associates. You can check them out online at siteforlife.com or give them a call at 866-865-2020. Thank you, gentlemen, for being here. It's been great Thanks. information Thanks. as always. And thank you so much for joining us. Have a great night.